We make a set of world championship skins every year. And they've always been what a pro looks like. That's how we headed into 2016. When the skins hit PBE, the reaction from our players demonstrated that our understanding of what these skins mean and how they should be created was off. We made five skins and not six. We weren't counting Easy Hoon's contribution as a sub. We didn't use the colors that SKT actually wore at Worlds. Doing Sivir instead of Callista. Wait a minute, like don't the pros get to choose? Isn't that part of the ceremony? It was one of those things where the most obvious choice would have been put out a piece to players, let them know that we'd messed up, really acknowledge where we messed up so that they knew that we'd heard them, and then just move on and do better next time. We made a decision to pull the skins and rework them. Um, the recall animations, the change of the color. Making sure that the pros themselves were represented in the skins. That was a step in the right direction. Coming out of last year, players are going to want something really good. SK Telecom have overcome every challenge. They are I don't think we get a do-over this year, so I think we're going into it knowing we have to pretty much hit it on the first try. SKT came to Riot the day after the world, and the goal was we would interview and seek to understand more about their personalities and also what type of thematics they may be interested in so we could go about making a different take on what those skins could be for the following year. Do they have any questions for us as league developers on things they want to see or in general, just anything they're curious about? <laughs> Well, this year, we wanted to make SKT scans a bit different from before. We tried to incorporate as much as possible from what players said. So, esports, but not usual esports skin. High fantasy, ceremonious, uh, warriors. Our goal is to have players feel like when we successfully combine them all into a, a cool skin that whether or not you're into esports or they're good looking skins, if they came out and people found that they were not excited about them, or if we just did the same thing that we always do, I think that would be a failure. For Syndra specifically, you want to go for something that feels very queenly, empress, dark. So, so right off the bat, these are pushing a little bit into Justicar Syndrome territory, which is one of our launch skins. Yeah. The hardest part about the 2016 World Skins has been inventing a new thematic. Fantasy is all over League of Legends already. So how do you make a esports, high fantasy inspired skins that isn't just knights in armor? Have you seen his launch skin? The color scheme. Oh, shit. Instead of having it like be, be more wing shaped, you could. Fang wants wings though. He said he wanted wings like 10 times. This one, he's actually got wings stuck into his back, whereas on these ones, just metal you know, representations of wings. The middle and right execution will not maintain that shape in any of his animations. We had a lot of conversations around what would Zack armor look like and how's it gonna stretch? How's it gonna look in game? That's when a 3D artist can come in and be like, let me make a quick model, like get it in game, and then we can discover together if it's gonna work. There will have to be adjustments. Yeah. I mean, you can see now how he is an idol and when he runs, they like yeah, they go in. in. Yeah. 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 This kind of like collaboration that happens is where all the magic kind of happens because no team member can kind of do it alone. I think it'd be a disservice to any individual skin to like have it siloed. 
what if it will be not the capsule with a crystal? Like it's the Nami, like mm -hmm. the thing orbiting around it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like this thing around it. So as, as the concept artists finished up their respective designs for the champions, we're going to see how the SKT guys like them. And hopefully they're not disappointed. <웃음> 아, 그런 거 어? 멋있겠다. 그원 생기잖아. 그 W에 막 그, 어, 어, 그 W 처럼 원래 어, 어, 봄 같은 거 T1 봄. 그때 뭐 그거 좋았잖아요. 이제 뭐 신들 아래 막 서리가 깔리도록 해, 해달라. 그리고 뭐 뱅선수도 뭐 날개 요청하셨잖아요. 아 예. 그 날개가 그 기본적으로는 안 달려 있는데 그럼 뭐 커튼콜 저도 뭐 신들아 알쓸때뭐 네. 서리가 깔리듯이 커튼콜 음. 쓸 때만이라도 약간 판타지 그런 음. 느낌 있잖아요. 날개 그 음. 이렇게 막 펴지고 막. So even though SKT liked the skins, we still have a lot of work to do. Lots of things we have to address still. SKT's feedback, that'll be one of the next big things for us. So originally when he said he wanted wings, that's kind of the way I designed the shoulder piece. He wants like wings to actually extend. Our solution is we made some actual wings that we can spawn from him during this moment. I'm going to turn them into something more gold, a little more like magical looking. I think that we still have some polish to go to make sure that when this ships, it'll hit the quality level that we're looking for. But I think it's going to be a really good solution. I'm looking forward to that moment where like I'm running around in game and somebody picks SKT Syndra or just when Zack just comes flying out of the jungle like, ah, oh, I got ganked by SKT Zack. So I'm hoping that by putting as much as we can into them, players have high hopes for next year, asking themselves like, oh, what are they gonna do next year for whoever wins? Will it be a challenge for the skins team to continue making world skins? Yes, it absolutely will be a challenge. Every person's different. Every player is different, their personalities are different, their accomplishments are different. Again, it goes back to the importance of these skins as commemorative elements of the highest level of competitive league play.